Hi, it's Dave from thinkoutsidetheslide.com. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can show an audience the correct answer as if you were highlighting it. So in this particular case, which of these answers is the correct one? I click and I highlight answer B. So let's drop out a reading view here. How do we create this? Because what we want to do is we want the audience to see all the answers. Maybe there's some discussion, you get them to guess, and then you show the correct answer. And this uses inking. Inking is a great tool within PowerPoint, but some people don't know about it because the drawing ribbon is only turned on if you have a touch screen on your device. Now, I happen to have a touch screen on my laptop, and so it turns it on by default, but the drawing ribbon isn't there unless you have a touch screen, and unless you know, you can turn it on. You don't have to have a touch screen device. So, we're going to leverage the drawing ribbon. So let's first talk about how do we even get that to display if it's not shown. So look up at the top of your, zoom in here, look up, up at the top and you'll notice that I have the drawing ribbon. So how do I get the drawing ribbon? How can you get the drawing, drawing ribbon if you don't already have it? So what you can do is we're going to go to the file and then down at the bottom, all the way down at the bottom, we're going to go to options and in the options section you can say customize the ribbon and it shows you all the different commands and all the different tabs that you can have on your ribbon and if you scroll down this list you'll see there's a draw ribbon now mine is selected again because it knows I have a touch screen if you don't have a touch screen device it's probably not selected but you can just check that box and then it shows up. Then you simply go down, say OK, and you've now added the draw ribbon to your PowerPoint. And it will stay there. You don't have to add it every time you start up the program. Now, let's go to my blank slide here so I can show you how we add this onto our slide. So I'm going to go to the draw ribbon, and you'll notice on the draw ribbon, up at the top here, there are a number of different uh, pens or, or devices that I can use to draw. And I'm going to use the highlighter, which is this one here. So I'm going to click on the highlighter and it uses the default settings. Now, if you want to change the thickness or the color, you can use the little drop down arrow here. And now you can set the thickness. I've found either the second last or the last in terms of the largest ones usually work the best. And the yellow color is usually good if you have a white background on your slide. So we will collapse that again. And I can just simply draw with my mouse. I'm just using my mouse. I click down and I draw across letter B. And what I like about this is that it is organic. It's not perfect rectangular. So it, it really looks like I'm drawing it live on the screen. Once you've drawn what you want, you've highlighted what you want, you can go back and change back to the arrow cursor. Always change back to the arrow cursor because otherwise it leaves it as the highlighter cursor and that can cause a problem if you accidentally drag it on your slide. Now that I have added this particular uh, highlight to my slide, I can select it. So I click on it and you'll notice it selects it. I'll zoom in so you can see that there. So it, it does this uh, very sort of not very tall selection. That's just the way it selects inking all the time. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate it. When you have selected a, an ink object, what it does in the animation ribbon here is it adds two new animation effects, which are only available for ink objects. And you'll notice replay and rewind. So replay is draw this on the slide, add it to the slide as if I was, as I drew it. And then rewind is take it off, kind of in reverse if I drew it. So I'm going to add replay. And it previews it there. The default for any ink replay is two seconds long. I find if I have a short bit of text like I do here, that's, that's too long. So I'll go over to the right-hand side and I'll change the duration from two seconds. I'll reduce that down to one second. Went too far there to one second. Now I have animated it on the slide. So when I go to reading view again, 
on this slide, talk about it, what's your answer, click, and the highlight comes on. So that's a great way to show the correct answer with highlighting instead of, you know, maybe trying to point to it. Now, if you want to create a handout that does not have this ink object on it, or you want to create a PDF, you want to do that. How do you create this that doesn't have the ink on it? Well, you don't have to delete it and then re-add it on. What you can do, I'm going to go back to my home ribbon. What you can do is, uh, and let me zoom in so you can see this. So I'm going to select under the arrange item here in the drawing section. I'm going to go down and I'm going to open up the selection pane. So what the selection pane does, it opens on the right and it shows us all of the objects on the slide. So you can, there are three objects, my text box, my title, and the ink. And beside each of those objects on the far right side, you'll see two icons. One looks like a lock that is open. That is the locking feature. And then the other one that is a circle with sort of an arc above it. That's supposed to represent a human eye in case you were wondering. That is the hide, the visibility toggle. So what you can do is for the ink, I can click on that and you'll notice it now has a slight line through it, meaning that that object is now hidden. See, it didn't delete it. It's just not displaying it. So now you can go ahead and do your PDF, do your print, whatever you want, and then come back to the slide and say, show all. And when you click on show all, it turns all of the objects visible again, including, in this case, the ink, which was the only one that we hit. So it gives you that ability to create a clean PDF or handout for the audience, then add on your ink and have them highlight it as they are listening to you and learning. So this is a great way to be able to increase the engagement in your presentation by asking a question, giving them some possible answers, having a discussion, and then using highlighting ink to show them what the correct answer is. And then again, that can lead to more discussion. Try that out in your next presentation. This video is an example of the practical advice that I share in my live in-person or virtual workshops that help teams create more effective presentations in less time. If that's of interest to you, get in touch. If you found the information in this video helpful, here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching.